when you start to roll solo, you're going to not have a lot of encouragement in your life. And when you don't have a lot of encouragement, it means you don't have a support system that's backing you. You know what I'm saying? For me, in my own personal life, there's not a lot of people on my team, right? There's not a lot of people in my circle. And that's a good thing in a sense that there's not a lot of distractions, right? But you always want the right people in your circle, right? The type of people, the type of people that you can trust, the type of people that are loyal to you, the type of people that are going to be supportive in, in, in any endeavor that you pursue, right? And the fourth is someone that is encouraging, someone that pushes you to your goals. I'm not talking about people doing for you. You still got to do for yourself, but it helps when you have that positive reinforcement in your life. And for me, I don't have that positive reinforcement. I don't have encouragement in my life. I really don't. When I go to the gym and I'm on this weight loss journey, fat loss journey, whatever you want to call it, right? Fitness journey. It's me pushing myself to get my ass to the gym and to, you know, get my body right, get my nutrition in order. There's no one pushing me through this process. I am pushing myself. Okay, everything I've done in my life, I've always taken the initiative and I've always pushed myself to do what is uncomfortable, right? Any job that I wanted, any career that I want to get myself into or any business idea that I that was in my, that was planted in my mind and I want to turn into reality, I'm the one that pushed myself to you know, to go through the process to make it happen. Okay, I've always took in the initiative. And as a grown man, you have to do that. Even without support, without encouragement. I know it's a hard thing to go through. It sucks. It's not a good feeling because there's a lot of people that get the support. They get the encouragement. They have that positive reinforcement in their life. They're lucky to have that. Some people take that shit for granted, you know? And I can't stand when people take that for granted because, you know, supportive people do not come by very often, okay? And rarely did I ever have, you know, supportive people in my life. If I was stuck in a jam, I had to pull myself out of the jam by myself, okay? Any conflict that I was facing in my life, I had to figure it out on my own. And go to God for the solution. But it, through that process, through that process of going through the conflict, looking for a solution, there is no one there. Now you know I can say my mother was there because she is, you know, a loving, nurturing parent. You know, the only woman in your life that's ever going to love you unconditionally is your mama. And that's a fact. And I'm not going to say that my mom hasn't been there for me, right? She has. But I'm not going to sit here and say that she's always been there, right? And there's certain things I can't always tell my mother because, you know, I feel like she lacks the understanding in certain things. And it's not a knock on her. It's just when it comes to women in general, right, e including your mother, you can't tell them everything that's going on with you. Everything that's wrong in your life. Some of this shit, man, you got to figure it out by yourself. And that's and that's the cold hard truth. You got to figure this shit out by yourself. You know, your mom would tell you, you know, you got to tell me everything. You got to confide into me all the time. That sounds good. But as a man, we got to learn to deal with our own shit our own baggage on our own. and I'm going to be honest with you your mother is is not enough
When it comes to a support system, your mother is not enough. She is only one person. Guess what? Most likely your mother's going through something right now. And your mother needs you to be strong for her. Okay? I'm the same way with my mother. I feel as though my mother needs me to be a strong masculine figure in her life. Right? Then for her to always have to be there for me, helping me through this and that and the third. And me just being, um, or her being a, a shoulder to cry on every time I'm going through something. You know what I'm saying? And for me, that's not how I move. I can't be that. I can't do that to like go to my mother because she's an unconditionally loving mother, right? I can't always rely on that safety net because if if you have no one else that is like that safety net outside of your mother, then you're going to be conflicted. You're going to face a lot of um, grief with that and you're going to feel alone knowing that wow, all I got is my mother that supports and encourages me, you know? That's it. I mean, your mother's always going to love you. Don't get it wrong. Maybe encouraging you sometimes, but not all the time. But when it comes to friends, you know, um, just other people, coworkers, whoever, associates, honestly... You, you'll be surprised. I mean, you'll be not surprised. You'll be lucky enough if one of them is on your side wanting you to win. You feel what I'm saying? And we're not always fortunate enough to have people in our lives that want to see us win. You know? And I've grown to be stronger because of the lack of encouragement in my life. The lack of a support system in my life, I've grown to be strong mentally and emotionally. I've learned to just, you know, I've learned to just move on from it and kind of detach myself from ever feeling um, bad about it, you know? And, and that's one of the reasons why I'm so detached today is because people are just going to let you down. You know, that's just the reality. People are going to let you down. You can't put all your faith in man or woman. And that's something that I'm learning on my walk with God is not putting my trust, not putting my faith in humans and men or women. You know, I can sit here and say that no one has really been there for me in my time of need. In my time of need, when I was really struggling, when I was really going through the dark, darkest days of my life, there was no one that I could really go to or talk to. It just felt like everybody was emotionally distant from me. You know what I'm saying? And you can be around a lot of people and I learned this too myself, just having friends, right? Um, you can have all these friends and still feel alone. You know, I know there's a lot of you that feel, that feel that way right now. You have a lot of these friends, they make you feel alone. You know what I'm saying? You're all alone. You're not actually alone, but the people that you are talking to, that you are hanging around with, they make you feel like you are alone. And... I'd rather actually be alone than to be around people that make me feel alone, that don't acknowledge me, that don't encourage me when I need it, that are not there to emotionally support me and stuff. Um, you know, those people just have no place in my life. They just don't. At, at that point, you got to just let them go. Because at that point... You're better off walking alone, walking solo. At least you know you have your own back. At least when it comes to yourself, as you grow, as you progress, you are going to have your own back. You are going to have your best interests at heart. And when you're by yourself, 
you can enjoy yourself. You can be more at peace, okay? And having that inner peace is not going to happen overnight. You have to be alone more often to get that peace, to appreciate, you know, your own company, being comfortable with your own company, being able to look yourself in the mirror and being proud of the person that you are, being proud of the person that you have grown up to be. The things that you have battled, the things that that you survived through, that you have overcame. You know, and I have to look myself in the mirror at times and be proud of the man that I have slowly become in my in my late twenties. And I don't need all these people in my life giving me all this validation and support. Yeah, I don't need their their round of applause. I don't need that validation. I can validate myself. And through the years of not gaining any validation, not gaining support, it's almost as if I'm numb to um, never receiving it and just being okay with it now because I, I, I've gone without it for so long. Like, I don't even care anymore if I receive support or not. And I'm not going to sit here and and be like, you know be all blind and nonchalant. If, if I get support from people in my life that come into my life and show me this, and show me the support, I'm not just going to ignore it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to appreciate it, right? But I'm not going to attach myself to that support because they can easily withdraw their support from my life. I've, I've learned that people can like you one day the next day, they, they will sour on you. They will switch up just like that. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, they're like the stock market. They'll, one day they're up, one day they're down. When it comes to you. And you got to watch out for that. People get hot and cold. One day they're cool with you, next day they're not. You're wondering, like, what's going on over here? What's up with you? You got a problem? Like, you know what I'm saying? You get kind of confused. Like, what did I do? I didn't do nothing to this person. Why is this person acting weird toward me? And I can't tell you how many times that I have been through that situation where I'm just wondering, like, what the hell did I do wrong? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is this person acting so weird? You know? We were just cool yesterday. We had a, you know, a great conversation. We were kicking it and stuff. But now today, there's just something different about the energy now. And that's happened to me a lot. And this is one of the reasons why I roll solo. Because I've seen this happen too many times. You know, where people just switch up out of nowhere. And it's like, I don't want to be around lukewarm energy. I'm good on that. You know, I would I would rather have genuine people in my life that, that like me for me. You know what I'm saying? So I really want to vent on this whole topic. Um, you know, you really all you have in this world. You is all you got. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to have a lot of people show you encouragement. During those drought days, you really got to build yourself up to a point where you're not going to fold, you're not going to crash out if they're not showing you no love, no support, no encouragement. Guess what? I've had a lot of days, years back, where especially in my early 20s, where I I would just crash out because I had no support, because I had no one really rooting for me. I was easily crashing out, you know, on a daily. My morale was so low. The morale in my life was like non-existent. You know what I'm saying? It was easy for me to just get addicted to corn, ejaculate every day. You know what I'm saying? Chase um, instant gratification. You know, to chase cheap dopamine thrills that was going to make up, you know, for the lack of 
the love and support that I was, you know, not getting, you know, in my life, you know, I was just overcompensating for the lack thereof. And I do this all the time. And so I got to a place where, okay, I need to self-improve. I need to develop myself as a man. Got to take myself a little bit seriously now because no one's going to pick me up when I'm down. Like no one's going to come do for me like I'm going to do for myself, you know? And that's the attitude that I started to develop in my mid-20s. Like I have to do it for myself, okay? I, I got to realize that no one is coming to save me. No one is coming to save me. No one's coming to save you. You got to save yourself. You got to pick yourself up when things are rocky, when things are not looking too bright in your life. You got to have the courage to pick yourself up from, you know, from the pitfalls, you know, from the storms that happen in your life. Okay. You may fall down from a building and may land on concrete. No safety net, no soft landing, but you still got to get your ass up and keep it pushing because that's what a real man does. No matter if he got support or not, if he ain't got no encouragement or not, or positive reinforcement, you still got to push yourself together. You still got to get yourself in order, no matter the circumstance. So I want to leave y'all with that. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all take that with you for today. And uh, make sure y'all like the video for the algorithm. Thank y'all for watching, man. If y'all made it through, I appreciate y'all. Shout out to every single one of you guys that have stayed through, liked the video, all that good stuff, man. And with that being said, I'm out and peace.